Hello everyone. My name is Laura and I'm the creative director at Balloon Studios. We're working on a game called Botany Manor. Botany Manor is a game about growing plants and exploring an old historic manor. You play as a retired botanist called Arabella Green, who is putting together a herbarium about forgotten flora. The plants you grow in the game are unique and come with special requirements. It's up to you to research various clues, such as letters, posters and books, to figure out exactly what the plant needs to grow. You can then interact with items in the manor to prepare their ideal environment. The idea of Botany Manor came to me after I moved to the UK. There are so many historical houses to visit here, and it is one of my favourite things to do. I really like the idea of making a game where you can explore such a place, but in a peaceful, cosy way. It's for that reason I made the creative decision that you as the player own the house and you can stay as long as you like. I also wanted to bring my love for nature to the game. I really enjoy learning cool facts about plants and animals, especially when they work closely together. Plants can have really interesting and surprising qualities, which I used for inspiration in the game. The plants in the game are fantastical, but still heavily grounded in realism. The past few months we've been up to lots of exciting things. We officially announced our game through a Nintendo Indie World and created our very first teaser trailer. We also launched the Steam page where you can add Botany Manor to your wishlist. At the moment we're focusing on adding new puzzles and new areas to the game. I thought I'd share a little bit of behind the scenes footage of how we designed the world of Botany Manor. First, we make a white box of a room, then make sure the lighting looks nice, and after that we create all the 3D art. The last room we added was a drawing room, a cosy seating nook where you can read a book and relax. For the puzzles, we've been designing lots of new flowers and concepting what they could look like. One of these is the Fulguria a flower that only grows during thunderstorms. You'll need to find a way to recreate its environment by using the flash lamp of the camera inside the drawing room. Maybe this tiny bottle of flash powder contains some information about how to create a flash? We're excited to share more plants with you soon, but in the meantime you can follow us on TikTok to see more behind the scenes footage.